So hello everyone, and I saw that last time because I have been ranting a bit too much about Alexander Yordanov. I think it's time to sh to lighten up and let's just do some real tanking. And here we are, they in in a SD81 uh, platoon up with Jackie 1993 uh, in his SDA2. But as you can see, that immediately I. I play this tank a bit differently to what to the way Jackie would play it. So he immediately heads off into the town, whereas I head into the open field. And then, of course, there's the argument: Do you take a SDA one against heavy tanks? Well, I'm gonna show you my argument over over that. And also, how would you want to outplay your opponents in your medium tanks, such as the SDA-1? And it's all about showing as little as possible of your own tank, and absolutely destroy the opponent by using your view range, your your absolutely fantastic good rate of fire. Um, now, I don't know why the replay has a slight delay, but that was certainly a really fast reaction. Um, I did just spot him and just quickly snap it, but of course, the game somehow displayed it way too late, and it looked like I just somehow, you know, blind shotted him, and it turned out he was there. No, that's not the case. Um, it happened actually two, two re, two videos ago, I think, where same shit happened. I don't know what's wrong with the nine point nine client. So now, I, now what you look at is that. Look at the map. So. We have me down here, and everybody else in this stupid corner, and we've got KB2 down there doing nothing, and then there's Jackie camping here. Now he he told me that I better run because I just looked behind me and I realized, holy shit, no one's around me to even support me in any way. So I gotta get out of here, otherwise I'm doomed. So what you see is that you gotta have situational awareness. To be honest, I didn't have any; <laughs> otherwise, I wouldn't have gone here. But now, I, as as I have known that already, I better make a move before it's too late. So let's just get into the heavy spot location, which I normally go, normally would like to take in my T54 Object 140 type of tank, where they have really good whole armor. I mean, not really good whole armor, pretty decent whole armor and excellent turret armor type of rapid fire and medium to here in the beginning of the game just to do this kind of thing to the opponent but the SDA-1 is a bit lacking let's say the gun is 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 good but the armor on this thing is just terrible so you really gotta watch out you don't wanna get hit at all in fact just look at the kind of shots I'm taking here they are free trade I'm just doing free damage as Sir would say uh, just putting random shots here and there and uh, hoping for the best so you can see that I am effectively holding back quite a bit of them um, the, the IS-3 of course didn't quite slam a shot into me because he was reloading which I heard the sound now the Churchill he is gonna bring piece of shit on me as you can see right here the IS-6 Churchill the Churchill here and another Churchill, so three Churchills, IS6 versus me on this road, pretty much me. I gotta help out the super push and he's doing an absolutely fantastic job here. But the tank re reverses way too slow, and to be honest, this is like my 10th game in this tank, so yeah, I'm not that used to it yet. And <laughs> as you can see, I'm finding this ditch here, which I'm just playing with, really. Just giving that Churchill absolutely no chance to outplay me. And we're gonna see how I'm gonna outplay him here. I don't quite spot him, but look at the position I'm in. This is this is where you wanna be in your Japanese tank. Although it doesn't really have current armor, but it, it does. It's probably better than nothing, at least. It's certainly better than the ELCs. I mean, not ELC, CDC's armor. So therefore, I should at least bounce. Yes, and there it goes the bounce from the tier six. So now I gotta pop out the bush. To just spot a bit more tanks. Here, I'll catch another Churchill. And you just, uh, you know, if the enemy team was a bit smarter, they wouldn't have done this to us. But statistically, looking at it, they're quite new to the game. So, again, they probably just thought that they could rush it. But that's not really the brightest idea. And holy shit, just when I saw the ISC is gone, 
he now fucks me up again for the second time, and I do the same move. Back up, back up, but the IS-6 luckily does not engage me. And he goes for the super person, and I try to put a shot in the lower plate. This is not correct, I know it, but at this angle, if you can look, if you look at him, although he, the IS-6 lower plate is strong, but at this angle, shooting his upper plate is almost impenetrable because this angle is just so slanted if I shoot here. Now, lower plate seems like a better deal, doesn't it? But still, 210mm won't go through. So, what do I do is, this time, you have to load the gold. Notice that I don't want to load ghost straight away, like gold spammer, but against an IS-6 and you want to win like this, you have no choice but to fire the gold. Otherwise, there is absolutely no way I can reliably penetrate him. So shooting his mantle because his flat piece of armor is very likely to penetrate, but that time didn't. <laughs> All right, let's just make sure we kill him right. Turn again, and oh my god, another bounce! And oh, I can't save the super version here. And lower plate, let's go for the lower plate. Yep, yeah, and there goes the lower plate kill. It seems like the normal AP round wasn't enough to go through him, so I load a few round, a few AP now. Because IS3, I should be able to pen him, right? Ah, uh, hang around here a bit too late, too long, and I get trapped. Not the best of of trades, I have to say. But uh, I gotta be careful. Look, I gotta play the game, the, the cat and mouse game here. I cannot afford to get shot again. And I wanted to carry this, and we're losing again, eight ten now. And oh, oh, quickly snap a shot. It's all about you know when you disappear from their view range, uh, from their view uh, after 10 seconds, you can pop out again. So that's what I'm going to do. Every 10 seconds, I'll pop out, and hopefully he doesn't see me. And holy shit, IS stock IS. Okay, fine. Let's just go out now and guess. Oh, try to slam the shot in the IS3, but it does not quite connect. Come on Churchill, you gotta go out and take the shot so I get time to actually aim at the IS-3 and not do some crappy trade like this. I saw the IS-3 move there in third person and this is this is my connected shot. Now I know the IS-3 fired, I just saw his gun shot the Churchill in my team, on my team, but uh, there, there aren't just the angle for me to penetrate the IS-3 there. He's giving me a hard time, but the IS-3 now loses his concentration decides to go for the Churchill and that means I got his shots and okay fine I don't get the kill and okay there, there was an IS oh how did I just bounce that it was 210 millimeter pen don't let him ram me okay let's let's juke him now re back off okay good we got the kill he didn't even manage to put one shot into me now it's just about the IS3 now after we kill the IS3 we pretty much got the game but can we not fuck it up please oh fuck that shit just, just bounced in the last, uh, just the worst case scenario here. But I quickly snapped the shot, and that just shows you how fast a Japanese tier eight medium f fires. Just totally surprised that I S3 to be honest. Um, and here I am on 3.5k damage already, and a Shafi. But I'm not gonna get the Shafi because, yeah, I'm just not gonna get him. He, he will get killed. So now you might have thought that you know our VK 4502A might came top in XP because he got the most kills. In fact, he came third in XP. I came first, and Yak Tiger 88 came second. And VKB just basically pretty much kill stole everything. Um, statistically speaking, he is by far not a pro. So uh, you know. Just, 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 just because he got the kills doesn't mean he's done a lot of damage. Certainly doesn't mean he gets a lot of XP. But I've done actually 4K. In fact, it's all blind fire, as you probably don't know. But look at this move. Look at the Japanese tank. I was talking to Jackie about this. He was telling me at the time, "Hey, your your gun seems to be accurate." I was like, "No, it's not that accurate. It's quite accurate, but not that accurate." And then I just fired on the move and bloody shot the Churchill like seven times. And can we execute him in style? But I hear noob around, and oh, the gun depression on the ass isn't too good. But never mind, we got him. I knew I had him. So, you know, there was nothing for me to lose, even though I was to take a few shots. And there goes the kill. Four kills, four 
4.5k damage in fact there's a few blind shots there and uh, which means that I was able to get ace tanker and 1300 base XP uh, by far the most XP earned in my team and hopefully this has showed you just how capable STA1 is and I'm just uh, quite happy that I already aced this tank when I played only 10 games in this hopefully you have to enjoy this video and I'm bringing you this video at the temperature of 35 degrees in Britain I don't know why the hell it's so hot here but we'll see you next time